What is up, everybody? This is your boy Ramones, and I'm just banging out videos today, man. I think I just I have a lot of things to say. Um, I feel like I'm getting my groove back in the whole recording videos because I've been gone for so long. So the first two videos maybe was a little bit of rambling, but I think I'm starting to get to it. So with this video, I think I'm going to talk about as you see in the title is why did I choose tech? Why did I choose computer engineering? Because my classification, my actual field of study and major, however you want to classify it, is I will be graduating with a bachelor in science in computer engineering technology. And the reason why I chose this degree, for y'all that don't know me, um, I don't think I ever did a, a spill of about my life on here or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit of whatever right now. <clears throat> My father is actually a computer engineer. Um, he went to, what's that school in San Antonio, I think it is? No, it's in Laredo, next to San Antonio. I think it's called Laredo, I think. Laredo University or something like that. He went to one of those schools. He went to ACC, he went to there. Um, straight from Africa, he worked three jobs. But that's actually from Nigeria, Emo State, Ebo. It's an Ebo man, so I'm an Ebo. Um, and I will be making a video on that when I do the 23 and B. I will be making a video on that, but, and, um, with the whole idea of me getting closer to my Nigerian side, I may actually have on my, um, Nigerian attire, I actually have it in my closet back there, I just got some, um, so I might wear it in that video, but, yeah, my dad worked two jobs, so, you know, he opened, he worked for Dell, HP, Compaq, you know, he worked for all those companies when, um, once he graduated and stuff like that. But my dad just, he had that, he didn't want to work for no one. So, you know, he started his own computer, uh, small computer business, selling refurbished uh, computers. He used to build them, actually. He used to actually build them and sell them to people. But that was, like, way, way long ago. I remember he had his own little, you know how you have, like, the Dell logo on, a, like, a desktop? He used to put his own little logo, Computer Master, on it. I remember it was, it, it was cool. It was a cool little thing. So, I was always drawn to that as a kid, you know. Yeah, he, he didn't want to work for no one, so he opened up. He took his, I remember, remember telling him he took his money from his 401k that he had, had stored up and, you know, um, from the companies. And he took that and he pulled it out, paid the penalty on it, and used that money to open up his own business. Um, and, you know, that I grew up seeing the good and the bad of entrepreneurship, you know. I seen the, the the times where it was just flourishing. I seen the times when it was bad, <laughs> like bad, bad. But that molded me into the mindset that I have now. So that's the reason why. Um, so I always, I always used to be, you know, good with computers because that's what my dad would do, you know. So I was, we had the, you know, the first computer on the block in the apartment. Everybody used to come to my house on the computer, stuff like that. Um. I always knew how to work the computers because my dad, you know, stuff like that. But what what really turned me on into computers was my senior year, I want to say. Yeah, my senior year of high school, going into my senior year that summer. Um, was it that summer or was it that, I think it was, I think it was that spring break. Spring break of my snow. Nah, I remember. It was the it was the summer going into my senior year. Cause I, oh, I remember. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that story too right now. So the reason why I say I remember now is because I was dating a girl around that time. We had broken up. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. I'm telling the story wrong. So we had broken up. Oh, when my going into my junior year, nah, nah, it was right. I'm saying it right. We broke up when I was going into my senior year. We broke up that summer going into senior year, and we broke up because she had cheated on me. She cheated or whatever, and I remember this like it's like it's yesterday now. Okay, okay, now it's starting to come back to me. So what happened was she cheated on me by with her friend, her supposedly best friend's cousin. And the reason why I, this is how I remember that this was that what you call because I remember one day she had called 
one day we was talking or something like that. We was texting, was talking, something like that while I was at work working with my dad. And my cousin was in there. My older cousin, of course. Um, he's working in there too. And one day me and her, I was, okay, the way my dad's office is set up, when you walk in, it's like the front area. Then you go to the, you go straight, like front lobby area or whatever. You walk a little bit past the little, like where he has like the little clear, like where laptops and stuff is. There's a little open area over here. And then you go through a little like double like lock thing for like employees and you go to the back. So we was in the back. When you go to the back, it's like set up where it's like a little area right there. And then you go back, it's a little like wall. There's another little area where you can see over it though. And then you go through these door to the restroom, like a little private office. So I was back there by the restroom and she had called me. I'm talking to her on the phone like, yeah, so what's up? You know, whoop the whoop the whoop. And she like, I don't know how, but I found out she was hanging out with that girl again. So I already knew what was about to happen. I'm like, yo, so I'm like, man, fuck you, dude. Like, I don't know what happened, but you know, we got to it. We started arguing or whatever. I don't remember, like, exactly what was said. But I know my cousin was right there. He was like, he's like, you good? I'm like, man, I'm good, dog. You know, I'm, like, I'm good, bro. So, you know, that's how I remember it was there. But, um, going that summer, going into senior year, no, that was actually after that uh, i lied the, that situation happened after when i was working after i graduated i'm pretty sure i think i don't know it's weird i don't know it, it's old but i was working there like tough tough like i was i was putting in hours like like i was putting like eight hour days yeah i was putting in eight hour days yeah i remember because after I graduated, I was working up there too. It's going in, that summer, going into uh, college, freshman year of college. But I know I was putting in hours that summer going into. So that's when I really fell in love with computers. Like I was in there doing, like my dad doesn't even work on Macs. He doesn't touch Macs. I was working on apples. I was doing everything. Because like, you know, I'm young. So my brain was just like comprehending everything. I was just boom, boom, just doing everything. Um, one day they, somebody brought in a Mac and they had to redo the operating system or something like that. The OS or something. Something's wrong with it. Man, they, they waited until I came. Like, cause I had like an off day or whatever. They waited till I came. And I, we, I hop, as soon as I come in, everybody like, oh, he's here. Let's go. Boom, we knocking it out. I just fell in love with it then. I started changing my first like uh, laptop screen on my own. Like I was doing everything. But I was, I was hardware. I was good with the hands. So I was like, okay, when I go to college, I'm going to pursue computer engineering. And then once I got into it, um, there's electrical uh, engineering, there's computer engineering technology. That's the one I took was computer engineering technology. I took it, let's be honest, I took it because I didn't want to take uh, calculus three. Um, for my degree, I didn't have to take calculus three. I had to take calculus two. That was the most, and I had to take physics two. I didn't have to take calculus three or physics three. Um, but for the most part, both of the classes are the same, except the fact that I have to do like C++ and like coding and stuff like that classes. So that, I wasn't expecting that. That, when I first got into it, I really was like frustrated. I wanted to, I, I wanted to like quit because I'm like, yo, I did not sign up for this. Like, you know, I didn't sign up for this. This is not what I wanted. I wanted, I went into it thinking it was going to be strictly hardware, which is like basically the electrical engineer. So I was thinking it was that, but I got into it and they had me doing all this coding stuff, C++. I'm like, yo, I told my dad, I'm like, yo, man. There was times I really wanted to quit, like, like especially with the, the, the way I was going through the struggles of paying for it because I didn't want to take any loans out. So I was paying for this stuff out of my pocket. Oh, I left my water in there. I was paying for stuff out of my pocket, so I'm like, you know, times get hard. I'm like, yo, man. And at this time, time was hard. I'm like, yo. I want to quit. My dad told me like, I failed. I had failed a class too. I failed um, statistics for engineers. That was the class I failed. I failed that class, and it hurt me, man. It hurt me because what happened was my teacher had told me she was like, "You you pass the next two tests and you'll be okay. You know you'll be good." I failed the first test. I think I think we had four tests or something. I failed the first two. I think it was. I supposedly passed it, the last two according to the grade or whatever, but I don't know how her grading was or whatever. But she told me, like, you pass it, you know, you'll be good. And the homework, homeworks were no grades. It was strictly tests. First test, bomb. Second test, I think I'm pretty sure I bombed that. That's how I ended up failing it. 
um, second two tests, I got a B and B, but I pretty sure I might have needed straight A's. But those are our only grades. We didn't have any homeworks. Like we had homeworks, but it wasn't great. It was just you just doing it for your own. So I was. I told my dad, I'm like, yo, man, I think, like, I think I'm done with school. Like, it hurt me. That was that was the reason why I left U of H. That really hurt me after that professor told me that. And then when I, I contacted her, you know, supposed to contact your professor, and he tell them, hey, what can I do? They'll help you out. And she was just like, she was arrogant. Was she like, you lucky, you lucky that I even like, like I'm like, huh? What she told? She said something like, you lucky I didn't give you an L for school. I had got a D. Yeah, it was a D. And you know you need a C or whatever, at least a C. And it's like a D plus or something like that. I'm like, yo, can you help me? Like, you know, she's like, you lucky I didn't, I didn't give you an L for something like that. And I was like, yo, that's how you rocking? That's how y'all rocking? That was when I was like, um, I was done with that school. So. Um, that summer or whatever, that's when I uh, I got into it, and uh, like I said, I went to the intentions of of being more hands on. But when I got into it, I see it's now all this coding and all that, and I'm like, yo, man, I don't I don't think this is for me. But my dad told me he said you're not gonna be able to be great at everything, and I just didn't comprehend that, you know. At that time, I was arrogant. I was stubborn. I was seeing all the YouTube videos where it's like, oh, you can manifest this and you can do this and that. And I'm like, yo, that's where I'm going. And it's like, you can, you can know, real estate, this and that. Which, my mind is still at that. But um, I had to mature and actually think about it like, yo, it's going to be harder to reach your goals of real estate and all this if you don't have a high-paying job. I had to sit there and comprehend that. You know, it's some some silly that everyone should be able to comprehend, but I had a hard time comprehending that. I had to mature and sit down and think like it would be easier for me to go into this, if not close to six figure salary job, where I can accomplish the real estate, the amount of real estate I want to own, the amount of stocks and bonds and stuff like that I want to have, crypto. I could do that off of a, if not close to six figure salary, instead of me working two jobs, three jobs or whatever, you know, if I was to drop out or anything like that to accumulate that. So my dad played a huge role. Um, I think that's going to be another video, um, how I can give my pops his praises, you know, matter of fact, let me write that down right now. Now I didn't weather the storm. And I think I'm, I got it now. So, I have a bright future ahead of me. This is how I decided to, um, this is how I, I decided tech was for me. It was that summer, right before the senior year. Really, it was that spring break because I remember I was working like crazy that spring break. Um, and I used to collect shoes too. I don't know if you can see them back there or whatever, but I had, I had quite a bit of shoes. And... I used to collect shoes. So that was an, another reason why I used to go to work with my dad, too, just to uh, work with him and get the money. You know, he paid me $10 an hour. I, I was getting paid in more uh, more than some grown-ups, you know? Um, and and that's what I did. While everyone else was working these regular jobs, like, you know, their parents, their parents didn't have businesses where they could work at. They was working these regular jobs, making, like, seven, six, eight, something like that. I was working this... Working in my dad's business, making ten an hour, you know. So it is what it is, you know. Um, I made the dumb decision to um, go out and get a quote unquote regular job, real job, and that's what threw me off when it came to school and stuff. Because working with him, he always my dad always prioritizes school, you know. He always did that, and I'll get more into that in my, the video where I give him his props. So, um, let thank y'all for watching, tuning in. Um, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe, and um, stay tuned, man. This is my video on why I chose tech and how I fell in love with tech, I guess you could say. Or I think I'm going to tell you that. Why did I fall in love, or how did I, did I choose tech, or tech chose me? That's a smooth title. But yeah, make sure y'all subscribe, man. And um, this is your boy Ramones, and I'm out.